Extreme Collectibles here, praying, I guess. Uh, I'm filming a bunch of reviews today, and at the beginning of each review, I ask the audience, audience, are you considered an audience? Well, this is going to be bad. I'm just letting you know. It's, things aren't even going right. But anyway, I am asking a question of, because each statue I'm reviewing today had kind of a weird buying story. So here's my question. Have you ever saw a statue you really wanted and you didn't know much about the character? And you held off and you held off and you decided not to buy it and then someone made you a great deal who sought you out? Yeah, that's what happened here. Thanks a lot, Hasima. Extreme Collectibles here with custom, quarter-scale, angry Cyclops. <sighs> uh, not going to edit that out, but for those of you that know about this piece, you know what I just did there. This is a custom, quarter-scale, Cyclops Phoenix Force statue. When I say custom, I have a lot of customs. That means it's not sold and it's not uh, by a distributor, a traditional distributor, or, and uh, for the most part, there are some exceptions, and it's not licensed. We don't talk about the origination of customs on here for a lot of reasons, but to be honest with you, the biggest one is if I'm reviewing a piece, 99% of the time it's sold out. You can't buy it brand new, you have to buy it second hand. So go seek avenues out uh, for that, like uh, Facebook uh, statue buy, sell trade groups. But this is a custom piece. They made uh, 65 of them. I wasn't planning on getting this. I do have one other piece from this custom group. It is the um, quarter scale fastball special uh, statue, Wolverine and Colossus that I've done a review on. I actually have two other pieces in transit from this custom group and then a few more on order. But they're doing a line of the Phoenix Force. So if you don't know what Phoenix Force is, this is Cyclops from the X-Men. And if you're looking at him and you're thinking, Who, what the, that does not look like Cyclops, you're right. It's from a comic line where Dark Phoenix, Jean Grey, uh, her power split into five different people, including Cyclops, and, uh, Emma Frost, Colossus, Magic, and Namor. So uh, he's imbued with her powers, a little bit different take, and this custom group is doing all five of these pieces. I really liked them, I really loved a couple of them, and I decided to pass. So this first piece came out and it looked pretty good in reviews and pictures and I was sad I missed it but I didn't lose any sleep. And I, I, I don't sleep much, I sleep about four hours a night but those four hours, I sleep hard. So I was sitting there and a, a, someone who I consider an online friend uh, who uh, is not only a great producer of stuff but uh, they're a great collector, that they're just an, a stand-up person contacted me said hey I, I'm willing to sell this to you um, if you're interested uh, I'm willing to sell this to you uh, for just a little bit above what retail was so went ahead and did that retail I think was right around a thousand and I paid for shipping shipping is so expensive now out of China for custom pieces it just sucks but it is what it is so went ahead and purchased him to add to my ever-growing X-Men collection obviously he will be right near Dark Phoenix XM Dark Phoenix. I went ahead and reviewed that. Um, check that out. Let's get some dimensions on this guy. I'm talking really fast. Again, I apologize. Uh, 12 foot diameter. Uh, probably the same on the front and back, but it probably sticks out a little more. Yeah, because his foot, see that right there? Puts it to about 13 inches. And height, he's pretty short. Mm, 18 and a half or 19, so he'll fit well. But, uh, uh, came in standard black foam, uh, packed really well, uh, very few pieces. The base is one piece. Uh, his body is in a, another piece with his arms, legs, all that's attached, and he has two portraits. So the first portrait is this one right here with the classic visor. And then the other one is an unmasked portrait. So both very cool, and we're going to talk about, actually, I'll just tell you right now, initially I was positive I was going to do the unmasked portrait in, in person, 
going to do the mass portrait. So we'll talk about the reasons behind that. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with him. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff on him, and he's a pretty simple statue. Uh, and again, I think a keto successful uh, statue is uh, if it's simple and you like it, they must have done a lot of things right. So let's kind of talk about what some of those things may or may not have been. So first with the design, very simple design. There's no issues with seam lines or, any, or anything like that. Uh, but with the two portraits, they actually have a light up feature. So, and the way they've done it is there's a light that there's actually two of them and they can, uh, ouch, that hurt. Uh, you can light them up. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's red. It looks orange on, on at least a, uh, uh, photo camera, but here's a picture of the two different ones lit up. So here first is the visor Pretty neat. It's not super bright and then here is the unmasked portrait lit up So some cool options I like that they uh, implemented that into the design regarding the concept the biggest reason I never pulled the trigger on this when it was open for PO is I thought the pose was stupid and uh, look at it. But I was wrong, especially in person. And I'm not going to do the pose. I'm not epic statues. I, I love that guy, man. He, 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 I've said this on a review before. He actually poses. But uh, this is exactly what he would look like if he was shooting from his visor, if he was shooting his optic blast. So first of all, you got to figure out if you're shooting any type of weapon or gun or beam, for example, Havoc, when he's shooting from his chest, he pu puts his chest out. Gun, obviously that. So first of all, he's lunging forward just like you would be, and he's putting his head at the, the foremost position because that's what he's shooting out of. And he's pushing his arms back and, his, and he's bracing his legs because that optic blast is huge. So the concept is he's sitting there attacking and I think the pose is perfect for that. It didn't look like initially and if this was supposed to be a museum pose this statue would not work at all. Now another part of that kind of backs that up is the base here just looks like this burnt concrete. Well if he's been using his optic blast or fighting you know Dark Phoenix or whoever he wouldn't be fighting Dark Phoenix I guess but uh, there would be charred con concrete below him. So this really, really follows the storyline. I'm not sure what the fire hydrant had anything to do with it. I think they just wanted to symbolize it's a street. But moving up, and he's very muscular, which is spot on for Cyclops. He does a lot of hand-to-hand -hand co combat. Um, God knows why, because I would just blast the shit out of everybody. And he's very stoic. He's very calm. He's in the middle of a battle, which he's the leader, you know, and... He's a little bit different uh, role in this uh, comic, but uh, he's the leader. He knows what he's doing. He's commanding his troops. So great concept, great design. The rest of the line, I'm thinking most are museum poses. And I would actually consider this a dynamic pose. So the only thing I would criticize, it'd be neat if you could uh, get some optic blasts coming out. But I have one other Cyclops I've reviewed, and then I have another one coming. It's the one with uh, the hand, if you've seen that. So Cyclops and the, the giant uh, hand by, by Franco uh, is the sculptor. So excellent. Love it. So let's talk about the paint and sculpt on this. And uh, I think there's, yeah, there's just really a lot of cool stuff going on. So starting at the base, I don't like the fact that they use this uh, black gold. If the rest of the line is like this, I'm totally game and I like it because I like uh, lines to stay together and it does have the a phoenix on the front of it. You see that gold phoenix here. And then the charred cement, because it's charred, they really didn't have to add a lot of texture. If this is not supposed to be charred, then it's they, they've missed a huge opportunity. But there's a few cracks in there and there's not a lot of different colors because it's blackened and charred. And you can really see that on the fire hydrant. You can see all the black, the burnt blackness of it uh, covering up the red. And it looks like it's sunk into the concrete. I like how they did that. Pretty neat. Then Cyclops. Uh, I don't like his shoes. Uh, I'm sure it's accurate, but they look like dress shoes. Uh, but they're folded in. Uh, they're actually boots that go all the way up to his knees, which rarely do you see men wearing those. Um, but the sculpt is good on them. I like the folds. I like the uh, kind of the, the seam line on the side going up to the top. 
And then he has some buckles that look good. Uh, I like the straps for the buckles quite a bit. There's some good detail in there. The paint could have been better on the actual buckles. And I like that it's a little bit of gold, which you see in other parts of his costume. And then on his costume, uh, so yeah, it's very textury, if that's a word, and the different parts are different types of texture. So for example, on his legs, you see some of the, uh, uh, they're not seams or stitching, but you kind of see some of the lines, and in between that is that really textury part. And then you see the muscle mass below that. There's not a lot of folds in his costume. There's a few almost folds, but uh, they did a great job maintaining the texture, uh, keeping up with the musculature of, of Cyclops. And then see right here, you see some of the red areas. It's a different type of texture on the inside. So I think that really gives it good contrast not to look boring. And then even on the arrow pointing down to his dick, uh, it's a, a, that red arrow, there's a different texture altogether, which that's kind of weird having an arrow pointing down there, but to each his own. And then he has a tramp stamp on the back, same exact thing, an arrow going in there. So uh, that's just where my mind goes, but kind of interesting. And I love those black lines all throughout the costume. Again, they kind of make it stand out. And then moving up his uh, uh, torso here, very buff. You can see his muscles below. You can almost see his belly button. And then he has the phoenix, the bird. Uh, in the middle of his chest, kind of an armored plate that actually moves up to his armored shoulder pads. And there's some wear on this. It, it, you can definitely tell it's seen battle. So it's kind of charred at uh, all the crevices. Really cool. Awesome looking biceps, good anatomy on those. Again, the, the, the way the suit wraps around it just really makes it pop. And then here's a different texture right before he hits his gloves, kind of a linear texture uh, with black lines. And then his gloves, they're just fists, so the gloves look good. You can't really get a lot of definition on the sculpt of his fingers, but his thumbs, you really can't see them good in this picture, are done really well. It's really good paint, and then the detail on his uh, thumbnail. And then looking at his uh, mask portrait first, again, it's a little bit different visor because he is a different character, and this is how he was. Uh, his cowl that you know is over his head is pretty basic. The visor looks good. Um, it has that matching gold color that you see on the, actually it's a little bit different than the one that's on the straps, but it matches his back here, which I didn't show earlier. So really quick, here's some straps on his back. I like this part of it too. This holds down his shoulder pads, I assume, but good matching. Back to his uh, mass portrait here. Again, the sculpt in the face is good. Uh, they should have done a little more coloration, I think. It's kind of bland. But it looks, it looks good. It, I think this, this piece looks better with the actual uh, body, but I think the sculpt and paint on the unmasked head is much better. So first the hair, a lot of individual strands, and they have uh, uh, hints of black throughout the brown, very Scott Summers-like. Great ear sculpt on the side, very, very accurate. His eyebrows, not only are they sculpted, but they're painted. Uh, I think they're a little too big, but they don't look bad by any means. I like the expression that they sculpted in, really fierce. You can tell he's upset, he's mad, and that's even if his eyes, if you covered his mouth, you could still see that. So I think that's a sign of, of doing a nice job. And then you even see some veins in his uh, head and face with some blue uh, hinted paint on there. So his skin's a little bit pale on this as well, but man, they, they really did a good job on the paint uh, maintaining those veins. And then look at his mouth, really, this looks like a real mouth. Uh, from the tongue and the glistening effect that they have on it, you see the hangy bobber in the back of his throat. The teeth are done fantastically individualized with again kind of some gloss covering them and as, as well as the gums above and uh, above the top layer there and then he's got uh, some pink tones to his lips very thin lips this is a fantastic job on painting the inside of the mouth here and the sculpt too I guess absolutely I would say that so so this is uh, 
Custom quarter scale Phoenix Force Cyclops. Let me know if you've ever heard of this character. Let me know if you're into uh, the comic line that they were in. Uh, let me know what you think of this statue. So uh, a couple other people did some good reviews out there and uh, I was late because I've been busy. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it as long as I can have the other ones. If not, eventually I'll put this up for sale. Please don't ask today, I'm talking like a year out. But uh, I do appreciate you watch, watching and posting other things. So if you haven't subscribed, half the people that watch aren't subscribers, please subscribe. And uh, please hit that like and please uh, do the comments. And if you ever wonder why does every YouTube person say that, it makes our video trend more and it will appear in more searches. So thanks so much for watching. Take care.